so fluffy. It's fine. <laughs>Hey guys, I'm Adele. It's just me and I'm back again with another video. For this one, I'm basically just going to be talking about how I plan my meals for the month. Um, honestly, I don't think it's that hard of a process, but you know, it's something that I wonder for other people, so I figured why not make a video about it. Anyway, let's put my screen, my phone screen, up so that you can see what I do. So I start off by just doing like meals for March if we're talking about this month and then I would go in to writing out what I would make. So for this month I had tacos, um, I did chicken and rice, I had a teriyaki chicken meal which is also chicken and rice but like different chicken oh gosh um and what else did i eat oh i made that like tiktok pasta thing so i'll put that on there and i had um burgers so after i think about, write out what I want to do, then I like find recipes for them if I want, if I don't already have stuff. Also with finding like the meals that I have, sometimes it's stuff I already had on Pinterest. So I literally just open up Pinterest and because I search meals and baking things so often, like it comes up a lot for me. So I scroll through, blah, 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 pick out what I want. Um, the Pinterest board that I use for my meals um, is called Get Cooking. Simple, straightforward, <laughs> to the point. So here I just have a bunch of things that I've liked before. Um, these are the chorizo tacos that I made. Very delicious. Uh, here I made the one pot garlic butter chicken and rice and other things here that I made. So that's how I go through. I find recipes if I need one for that meal and I'll open it up and find the ingredients that I need to go buy. So let's say I was doing this for the chorizo tacos. I'd open that up and here I just scroll down to ingredients. Oh, too far. Um, I'd open up ingredients and then I'd look through and see the things that I need to go buy. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I normally already have in the fridge or the pantry, whatever. So I don't always have to get too much, but if it's something like this, then I have a lot of ingredients that I need to buy. So from there, I would read through and be like, okay, I have an onion, I have lime juice, blah, 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 honey things I have, but I didn't have black beans or corn or um, like sour cream and stuff. So I'd look through that, go back to my notes, and then I'd start making my shopping list. So here I'd put up, oh, <laughs> I'd have, <laughs> I just got a text, okay. <laughs> so here I'd have my shopping list and I put black beans, corn, tortillas, all the things that I need to get. And that is basically all I do for my meal planning. Like I said, it's not too crazy, nothing, I don't know, complicated, but that's what I do for me. Um, so yeah, when initially I'm thinking about it, I pick out like four or five meals for the month and I will preface this by saying I only eat two real meals throughout the day. I know crazy uh whatever but I don't know what it is. I'm totally fine with eating only two like real meals for the day. Granted like they're bigger meals I guess. I don't know. 
so I have breakfast and then I have dinner I don't really eat lunch I have snacks though so whenever I go grocery shopping I get snacks that I would eat during the day so this month I had Ritz crackers and tzatziki sauce and I had um, some popcorn other little things or I'll just snack on like leftovers that I have but I don't really do that too often uh, honestly the two meals keep me tied over for the day so I do eat lunch not lunch I eat breakfast at around I'd say 10 or 11 most days so it's like a later breakfast and then I either have work or class through what would be lunchtime so I don't really have the time to sit around and eat anyway um, and by that point it's like just barely dinner so I'm like okay I might as well wait another hour or two to eat dinner and then I eat dinner and that's why I can get away with two meals I also just generally don't eat a lot so that's that too take what I'm giving you with a grain of salt basically if you want more food you just pick more meals and add it to your list so I'm getting a call quick pause okay I'm back um I don't remember what I was talking about uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> oh yes that's what I do for meal planning um pretty simple straightforward and that's why my like overall grocery bill isn't that large I think it came out to like 80 bucks like 80 or 90 bucks for the whole month um, Oh, that's another thing I do. I buy all my ingredients at once at the beginning of the month. Unless it's something that needs to be fresh, then I'll buy it like right before I make the meal. But for the most part, I buy everything at the beginning of the month and then just like freeze it if it's meat or veggies and keep it in the fridge for everything else. So yeah, that is how I do my meal planning. Um, Let's see if there's anything else specific. No. So that's what I do to plan out my meals. Um, I go by like basically one meal for a week. That's why I have four. And then I add in the fifth one just for an extra thing in case like one of them doesn't last me that long. Future Waddell popping in real quick. Um, just explaining like how I plan those meals and why I do it that way. I pick five different things and it's mostly based on like the protein. So like a chicken meal, a beef meal, a no like meat meal, things like that. But that's really all that I do. So hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe and come back for my next one. Bye. Do you guys like my scar? I literally normally use this to sleep in all the time, but I put it in my hair today, mostly because my roommate Jess said it was cute. So here it is. Yay!